the lovelies so today I just have a quick fun video for you guys that I wanted to try and that is trying out eyebrow stencils I've been asked so so many times if I use uh, stencils to do my eyebrows and I also find it so strange because I didn't think they existed apparently they do and you know some days my eyebrows are good enough that they look like they could have been done by stencils and some days they're really not and no matter what I do I cannot get decent eyebrows drawn on so I am interested to see if there is a foolproof way to get perfect eyebrows every single time and this is going to be my first attempt so there is like I have over 20 styles of these I'm not going to do them all because that would take a million years so I'm just going to choose you know like five or six that I think look fun and we're going to get into it and try a bunch out and see if it works and I'll let you know if I think they're worth it I got these on eBay for like two pounds or something they're super super cheap if you search eyebrow stencils that's where I found them if you are interested in trying them out and it was a pack of like 20 something stencils uh so yeah I will just get right into it okay so I apologize for the complete and utter lack of makeup and for the mess of the background but I'm not long awake and there's really no point on me putting on foundation and stuff before doing this because I'm going to be doing a few of them which means wiping it off and putting them back on and I would just have big patches of no foundation so we're doing it this way. So there's quite a lot of styles, I think there's like 20 or so, maybe more. Um, I'm not going to do all 20 so I'm going to try to choose like a couple that I think would actually make quite good eyebrows and some that just look really funny to me and we're just going to dive in and see how it works out. I think I'm going to start with <laughs> this one um because it looks like a pretty basic eyebrow shape although it does look very thick compared to what i would typically do with eyebrows so this might be horrifying to me i imagine these are more aimed towards people who have like natural eyebrows who want to do the sort of like instagram makeup eyebrow you know where you just you fill it in um but oh well there were no instructions with these so i don't really know what i'm doing so i'm just going to take like a this is one of the real techniques like blender sponges and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in granite and then just put black eyeshadow over the top and hope for the best, I suppose. I really don't know what I'm doing. Like... <laughs> this is very awkward. <laughs> how do you... how do you... I'm alright. I'm just gonna <laughs> make a mess, basically. Hand cramp. Such hand cramp. Uh oh. Okay, I never got to the eyeshadow stage. <laughs> Let me just got a little bit of excess there. That is one chunky eyebrow. I don't know if I placed it very well. I'm learning, okay? But I mean, like, it worked. I, I didn't get to set it with the eyeshadow because I couldn't keep hold while trying to open with it. I'm not very well prepared. But I mean, it is an eyebrow. <laughs> Let me see if I can do the other side. I feel like if I decide to actually use these as part of my getting ready routine, I will probably draw little marks to make sure I'm doing them, like, even and stuff. But for this, we're just gonna weigh it. I cleaned this so I don't end up <laughs> screwing it up and I've got the eyeshadow open this time so let me see. I really do wonder how you're actually meant to like get these to stay on your head while you do this. Oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, come on. I missed again, okay, that was fine, it's fine. Okay, and then, and then, I think I slipped. Ooh, <laughs> I've got like a little, little blendy eyeshadow thing going on <laughs> as well. Okay, so the stencil slipped slightly when I was doing the eyeshadow, but... <sighs> yeah, so I think these ones are a little bit big for my face, or at least, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. Okay, <laughs> let's move on and try a different style. Look how red my skin goes whenever I rub it. Okay, <laughs> next up I want to try this one because it 
is just a really big straight line and that's hilarious to me so we're going to see how that turns out. Well, now who in the frick has eyebrows like this? That is what I would like to know. Okay, so little slippage aside, who? Who has eyebrows like this? Who, who is honestly out there with, with this eyebrow? This is clearly my new look. I mean, come on. I don't think I put enough on. Oh no. Well, the why <laughs> why are they so I must have like raised one eyebrow while, while doing it is do you think do you think these should be my new eyebrows I think I can't stop raising this one I'm so sexy Okay, next up is like a very thick, angry, odd shape that I thought would be fun. So I'm gonna try. I definitely feel though like you'd either need to like tape these down to your face or have like a friend hold some of it down for you because like they're so big and like they want to just flick off and they're really stiff and I don't know how you're meant to like actually get it to stay on your face but I always get it <laughs> on that little arch bit <laughs> do people is this like an eyebrow style i think maybe i put it to, no i mean like it starts <sighs> i can't tell if like i'm just not used to having thick eyebrows on my face or if these are just bad it might be a mixture of both. Okay. Why is this so difficult? I feel like it's just, it's easier to just draw on your eyebrows by hand, to be honest. Why is one so much thicker? I must, they must be slipping as I'm doing this, because one, <laughs> yeah, I definitely think some way to actually attach this to your face so it doesn't slip and also draw on guiding points so that you don't end up with this situation. Okay, I'm gonna try a style that actually looks like they could be a decent eyebrow, although again, it might be too big on my face. I don't know, but we'll see. But it looks like a more reasonable eyebrow shape than the past couple. So let's give it a go. If I can just... Oh god, I'm screwing it up already. Um, I mean, if I, like, were to just sort of... Yeah, thin out that tail a little bit. And then, maybe... Eh, nope, fucked it up. <laughs> I still feel like this is so much more difficult than just drawing them. But if you could get the process of like keeping it on your face without it like sliding around the place and everything, I feel like it would be much faster. If you could find an eyebrow shape you liked and you figured out how to do it, it would be like much much faster than drawing them on. So, I don't know, like speed eyebrows. Uh, roughly... I think where the other one is, but like I said, with like guiding points, who bloody well knows? Not me, that's for sure. Try to... it, it's too, they're too big, I feel. <laughs> this seems like an awfully large eyebrow to me, but then again, maybe it's just because I draw small eyebrows. I mean, that's not terrible. If you like, if you've just started drawing on your eyebrows and you really, really suck at it, then like, you know, I'm sure this would probably be better than, than like, squiggle brows. Okay, let's try some big, like, angry goth drag queen eyebrows, shall we? Okay. 
Good God, all right. Apparently I'm just not very skilled in this particular. The camera died halfway through me doing this, so it's already screwed up. Hopefully the second bro will suffer less. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh! Actually, it wasn't quite as ruined as I expected. Well, I mean, it's not an eyebrow I would wear, but... <gasps> Just noticed the crazy faces I'm making while trying to do this. That one was somehow less successful than the one where everything went wrong. But, like... I do really wonder who these eyebrow stencils are marketed towards because... Bit, bit frightening. <laughs> okay, and the last one I'm gonna try, I actually have quite high hopes for. Like, it looks like a nice shape. Although, again, now that I'm holding it to my face... Uh, it is much bigger than I would typically do, but I'm hoping that this is a nice one because I'm actually about to go and record MAG and it'd be nice if I could just have instant eyebrows for that because I really can't be bothered doing my makeup and stuff. But, I mean... I don't know. It's definitely not an eyebrow I would draw, but whether or not it's an eyebrow I would wear is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm thinking no. <laughs> They're a little bit like, but I don't know. Maybe like I can't tell if it's just because I'm not used. No, I don't. No, I don't think these are. Mm hmm. I don't know. Leave a comment. Is it because I'm not used to these eyebrows, or are they just really sucky? Because to me, they just look bad. Okay, wait. I am back because. I forgot that I had actually ordered like two different sets because I ordered one set that had like five styles and it was really cheap but then I found a set that had like 20 styles so, and it was like the same price so I just ordered them both and forgot to cancel my first order. I've just opened the pack, the first pack because I found those and look these are different. These are like more of like a flexible kind of silicone-y thing. Now the only problem is for some reason there's like a little like stripe down the middle but I kind of feel like these would maybe work better because they're not going to want to spring away from my forehead. So I might try this one. Okay, so that's immediately much less annoying. Still a bit awkward, but it's not trying to escape as much, I don't think. And it kind of stays on its own almost. Hmm. So if I just gently hold it, and then trying to go in. Moment of truth. Oh. So obviously you would make, like, need to take a little brush and like fill in the gap unless you're going for that look, but that could work. I mean, I probably should have said it with powder to make it darker and it's not really the style of eyebrow I would typically wear, but I feel like in a real emergency, if any of them were gonna work, it'd be this one, so... I mean, if you're gonna get them, try to get the really flexible, like, silicone-y ones, but... If you really, really need an eyebrow stencil, I feel like this would be the way to go. So, my verdict. Overall, I think it probably is just easier to draw on your eyebrows yourself. That was just such a awkward kerfuffle that I feel like just spending some time and, like, getting used to just drawing it on freehand Probably makes more sense. Sometimes it's not gonna work, but it seems better than all that. Plus, if you have your full foundation and everything done, I would worry about those like stencils, like taking some of it off and leaving like a patch, or if you're like me and continuously go under the stencil, then rubbing that off is gonna screw up your makeup. Overall, it just seemed like more hassle than it's worth. And a lot of those style, like seriously, there's so many styles here that I'm like, who has eyebrows like that, who? Show me who has eyebrows like that. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it works better for the people who have natural eyebrows who just want to fill them in. Although I feel like that would be even easier to just do freehand. Like the stencil thing just seems really unnecessary to me. It just, it didn't work. I'm quite sad. I was excited at the prospect of just instant eyebrows. Maybe someday I'll try like taping them to my face, but overall I think 
eyebrow stencils get a big thumbs down from me you're better off just learning to draw them on yourself I think but do you know what if any of you try them and manage to master it like show me because I I'm not worthy I don't know how you met <laughs> my ugly bun um yeah I don't know how anyone can manage to make those things work well unless like you're a makeup artist doing it on someone else's face I feel like that might work better but trying to do it all up on your own face it's it's not worth it so I hope you enjoyed this weird, awkward, strange face little video. Um, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to try because we saw some of these eyebrow stencils in Sally's the other day. They were really expensive. They were like a tenner and I was like, no. But I was like, oh, that makes such a fun video. So I went on eBay, found some for like two quid, ordered a pack of like 20 different styles or something. And this was the outcome. So let me know if you would like to see me try more weird things like this in the future and give me suggestions of the weird things that you'd like me to try because this was definitely interesting and fun. Remember to check me out on Patreon because it helps my channel out a lot and just like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!